Ahsoka Tano and Captain Rex. So, Maul and Ahsoka came out fairly recently in the same wave. Um, but Rex came out a while ago, I think. Five or six months ago. Um, but they were all, you know, present in the Siege of Mandalore arc in the Clone Wars Season 7, so I thought it would be fitting to do the three of them together. And, uh, sorry this video is a bit late. I think these were, like, showing up on store shelves a few months ago. So, hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, but I'm very excited to finally have them, and as you can see, I have two of each. Um, I'm generally not in in the box collector, um, but for my favorite characters, I do like to get two so I can have a figure out of the box and then sort of keep one new in the box to display because I think, you know, the box and the way the figure looks inside looks awesome and it's, you know, sort of a work of art in of itself. So I definitely don't have two of every figure, um, but my favorite figures and my favorite characters I do and Maul, Ahsoka, and Rex happen to be some of my favorite characters, so, and so I have two of each of these, and it, it works out quite well, since they all sort of go together, um, so anyways, um, in general, like, five out of six of the, the cards look good here, um, Walmart did destroy this one. It was just in a plastic bag instead of a, a box. Um, so it got kind of mangled. So I'll definitely be opening this one. Um, but for the others, I don't see any damage, at least from a quick glance. Um, so there's kind of a mixed bag of retailers here. I got a few from Walmart, a few from Big Bad Toy Store, and um, I think one of the Ahsokas came from GameStop, um, so kind of a hodgepodge of places that I got these from. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the, the boxes and the bags here. So here's Maul, and it says Mandalore in parentheses, and then he has his, uh, season seven outfit and, uh, double-bladed lightsaber. And the back here has other figures in the wave. And this is VC201 Vintage Collection. First figure, and you can see there's the uh, other figure we have, Ahsoka. Then here's Ahsoka. So, again, love the way the, the artwork looks here. logo, vintage set, uh, vintage collection figures always have, you know, awesome looking artwork on it, which I love, and then, uh, finally we have Rex here, so, also have some artwork of him, and then, Was in an entirely different wave with uh, Vader, the man of 
pronounce this guy's name. I think it's Imwe. Um, the guy from Rogue One. So, there's Rex. Um, I actually haven't gotten the guarded, uh, vibes in Echo. I have the Arc Trooper 3 pack that they released last year that has vibes Echo and Jesse, but I haven't actually gotten the guarded versions of them yet, so maybe I will at some point. But anyways, um, so obvious choice here. We're gonna keep this one in the box. So I'll set that guy aside and, uh, Keep that new in the box. Um, which is, oh, did I put these back wrong? I got confused for a second there. Um, Captain Rex, I don't think. I don't see any damage on either of these boxes, so. Shall we just do an eeny meeny miny mo? Let's uh let's take this one out, shall we? Keep this guy in the box. And then Ahsoka. Um let's see, I think I yeah. The corner's peeling a little bit there. And otherwise I think no damage, so we'll keep this one in the box. Um, so, these are the three we're going to take out and uh, check out the figures. So, I'll uh, throw it into time lapse mode here and be back with the figures out of the box. Um, I think, well, I might as well try to save all three card packs. Um, I'll cut around the bubble here so I can save the card packs. Um, so, be back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I got all three figures off of the cards, and mostly got three undamaged cards. Um, I will say, I don't know why, but I don't know if you could tell from the, the time lapse, but the Darth Maul, um, much harder to cut off than Ahsoka's or Rex's. I don't know if it was just because it's kind of curved and weird, um, but for some reason I struggled that, and then Ahsoka and Rex's came off super easily, but 
um, you know, these are really easy to store now. So I like to keep these for a lot of my figures. Um, I might for these, I might not. The only reason I wouldn't is because I still have the new inbox one. So we'll see. Um, but let's uh, check out the figures now. And since the figures are a bit smaller, I'll move you guys in here. There we go. Now you can see them a bit better. Um, so let's start with Maul. There's his head sculpt. I'm always super impressed how, how good the paint applications look on DVC figures. I look at the, the detail in his eyes and everything. It just looks great. Um, you know, for $13, $14, they really put a lot of you know, high quality stuff into these figures. Um, and in general, I just think the DVC line is great. Uh, outfit looks good. I love the robotic legs. Um, overall, just looks awesome. And Maul's definitely one of my favorite characters. Um, let's test articulation here. Head pivots. Shoulder goes up to about there. Um, arm should pivot if I can get it. There we go. It was just backwards. So the arm pivots to about 90 degrees. Um, abdomen swivels. Let's see. Leg moves forward. Also rotates. And then of articulation in the knee and the foot articulates a bit so good amount of articulation in this guy um yeah like i said like i said i'm always impressed with both the the sort of quality and articulation they pack into tvc figures so no exception here here's his lightsaber Also looks great. Hopefully you can see that okay. That looks great and of course you can place it in his hand. So, and of course you can, you know, grip it with two, but I don't want to pose all day here, so there he is. So, there's Maul, awesome looking figure. Super happy to have him. Um, let's move on to Ahsoka here. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was unboxing Ahsoka, that actually popped off and flew across the room. So I had to go find it and clean it off. Um, but regardless, it looks incredible. Um, you know, there's just so much detail packed into the head sculpt and the eyes and her, uh, the patterns on her face just looks awesome so super super happy with that sculpts on these two figures um her outfit also looks great some rubber here um arms look good um so yeah these two figures i'm very happy with they look awesome um test articulation here so it has tons of articulation, um, and surprisingly, not really limited at all by her leg goo. Um, arms have tons of articulation, as you can see. And then abdomen swivels, um, thighs rotate, and I would assume pivot. They should. Might just be a little sticky. There we go. 
articulation and aesthetic standpoint. Let's check out our lightsabers. Thanks for watching.